Hi, Namaste. You are watching instructor for you, and I am Mr. K P Menon. Guys, if you want to conduct the live online examination for any purposes, then here I have brought you one of the easy technique to conduct the live examination by the help of Google Forms. This is one of the basic application given by Google. Guys, this is completely free application which you can use to develop the questions and share it with your number of participants. The participants can easily write the answers in the same form and send it back to the examiner. So, guys, let's start. Uh, what are the things that we can do from Google Form and how to create the Google Form, how to access the Google Form, and how to respond on the Google Form, how to collect the number, how to collect the marks on the Google Form, and how to keep their record on our own site. So, guys, let's start. So for that, uh, we first of all should have the Gmail account. So uh, many of you might have. If you haven't, then you can simply create it by going to your browser. So Gmail sign in, right? So you can go from there and you can easily create the Gmail account. So after you create Gmail account, then we can easily access the Google Form. So for that, uh, let us open the browser. Any of the browser which is available in your device, like Mozilla Firefox or like Google uh, browser. Right or Opera or any of the browser which is available in your device, you please open that. So for now, I open I, I open the browser Google. Uh, so uh, this is my browser. After I open the browser, let us type google.com. Uh, so now our target is to open the Google form. So let us type Google form. Google forms. Uh, so now you can see few few of the sites there like google.com forms about. Uh, you can see Google Forms create and something like that. You can see some other sites here. Now we will not go through to the to these all sites. We need to see this one docs.google.com forms uh, Google Forms sign in. So let us click in uh, this website. Uh, so Google Forms sign in. So let us click here. Uh, after we click this, uh, then we it sends us or it redirects us in this. So this means if you have already signed your browser. Um, then uh, you will not be asked uh, to enter the Gmail account. If you have already signed your browser with the Gmail account, then your Gmail account opens the Google form directly. So uh, for now, uh, we haven't uh, opened any of the Gmail accounts or we have signed out the Gmail account. So it says us to sign in the account. So for now, I choose uh, this account uh, to open my uh, form. Or we can add another account as well so for now we open this by this account so um, let me open this after that we can add the password uh, so let me add password here uh, so now my form is about to open uh, so this is my form right google form so in this form you can create number of questions right and you can uh, easily send that questions to your students or to your participants and you can allow your participants to answer these all questions you can put multiple choice questions as well you can put short answer questions as well you can put paragraph questions as well any of the questions you can put there so for now first of all i will develop the multiple choice questions with options right so you can see the uh, the multiple choice option on the screen uh, so if, if we click there we can see other options as well like short answer paragraph checkbox drop down and so on so for now i clicked multiple choice and on title questions i can keep here the question name question i can keep the options before that let us give the title for this uh, form so the title is um, i will keep a regular assessment uh, regular assessment uh, uh, is the title now description is i will keep the class name uh, or i i may keep the subject as well so let us keep uh, subject uh, subject uh, science so for now to make it easy i can keep the uh, keep the uh, you know class as well uh, so i i kept class 9 so now on title questions any other questions i can keep here so which one of the uh, following so for now i give a question is the as i uh, unique of force all right uh, so or i can write which one of the following which one of the following is a center of force this is, this is the question right so i can keep the option like uh, uh, newton um, i can keep the next option like uh, kg kilogram similarly i can keep next options like gram 
I can keep next options like uh, the second, right? Uh, so sample, right? So now see here at uh, the at the uh, you know button. So you can see duplicate uh, icon. You can see delete icon. You can see uh, required uh, required not. So this means uh, your your students uh, are asked to answer this question to enter the second question. So if we allow this option on, then this this shows that you you are asking your student to answer this question before reaching the other question. So now uh, let us let us see in this side. You can see few options there, few icons there. So this first icon means add question. Uh, the second icon means you are about to import the questions from your previous files. Uh, third icon uh, so, shows you are about to add the title uh, to the to the question title and description. Similarly, you can add image as well in the option. So from this icon, add image bottom, add image bottom, you can add uh, options uh, as images as well. So similarly, you can put your video as your options, or you can put your, you can give videos uh, to to ask the questions also. So these are few things uh, which are given uh, for you, for we all uh, to make our uh, question. Then after, if you add, if you want to add next question, then we can simply click on this plus button. If we click on this button, we can add next questions also. So question number two, uh, I can add question number two here. So like uh, which one of the following, uh, which one of the following is not the uh, is not constant quantity, is not constant uh, quantity. Okay. So which one of the following is not a constant quantity? So for that I gave the option uh, like uh, the universal uh, gravitational constant, uh, universal gravitational constant. Uh, the second option I can put here images as well, right? If, if required, I can put images as option also. So second option is I gave uh, acceleration, A C C E L E, acceleration due to uh, gravity. Mm, similarly, the third one I can keep here mass. Uh, the fourth one I can uh, I can keep here. Mm, I can keep your other const other quantity, mm, right? Or none of above. Let's say none of above. So now after that uh, I can mm, uh, I can uh, click on the same button. After you click on the same button, you can see certain options like uh, collect uh, email addresses, uh, right? You can see here if we click on this, then it allows you to collect your email, collect email address of your participants. So now you can you can uh, you can give this form uh, through email as well to you to the participants or to the students, or you can simply make a link, make a link. So click on this icon, right? From there you make it short so that it becomes easier for the for others to access the link. So make it sort, sort on the links and let us uh, click on copy. After we copy this, we can put this on any of, of the other platforms where we have kept the students, uh, you know, uh, group. Uh, if, if we have made the messenger group, we can keep on that messenger group. If we have made the, if we have used the Google Classroom as the platform, we can keep students, um, we can keep this link in that platform as well. So that a student easily can access on that link and they can, they can go further um, to access the form. So uh, we can keep uh, click on copy and this copied link we can keep on Google Classroom, right? Google Classroom or, or Messenger or anywhere. Uh, so after that we can um, easily give access to the students about our or, or for our Google Form. Um, so then after you can you can see in this side uh, customize theme uh, preview, right? Other settings as well. You can you can change the settings also. Right, uh, limit to response once once they one once if we click on this <coughs> icon, it allows only one once one time to response. Similarly, edit after edit after you submit. If we um, right, uh, if we click this, then a student, student can edit it after it's up to submit. Uh, similarly, see summary charts and text response. Right, this allows us to see this. So for now, I I unclick this because I don't want the student to edit after after submit. After this submit, this is not edited. That is why I uncheck this uh, limit to response one. So it it makes the student to response only a time. Uh, collect email addresses. It it makes the response from the recipient receipt uh, So yes, uh, or or you may uncheck it. Uh, so presentation bar quizzes as well. So you can make different types of forms here. Uh, so you, you can go on. Uh, you know, watching this, you can go on seeing this. You can find other things as well. After that, we simply click on send button, right? Or we simply.
give that link to the student that we can just make a copy move to press everything we can do uh, so for now uh, yes I can click on scene bottom so that this can be sent hope you like the video please do not forget to subscribe thank you